hi. Today I have a video review for this. Um, it's a tablespoon set. Well, you know, a measuring cup spoon set. So this is how it arrives. I haven't even opened it up yet. I'm going to test it on camera. That's the best way to do it. Let's take these out. Nice metal spoons. So you can see them there. Very simple ring, pretty lightweight. Here's a nice thing. Look how nice and flat these lay. They're not gonna take up any room in your drawer whatsoever, as opposed to these monstrosities that I currently have. So I wanted to test accuracy. So first let's see what we have. We have an eighth of a teaspoon, quarter of a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, one teaspoon, and then a tablespoon. So you don't have like a half a tablespoon or anything like that. Not a biggie especially if you really want teaspoons. So let me pull out my um, half a teaspoon out of this set. I grabbed some rice. So there is my half a teaspoon of rice in here, my store-bought set, my monstrosities. Let's see how accurate this is. So fairly close. We have a few little seeds here and that just could be the way I poured it. And I might even be able to fit on there. I think that's its max. So rice wise, you're pretty close. Those are so not going back in there. Okay. <laughs> don't mind the mess. Um, and I think, geez, I don't even know where I got these ones. These might even be like Walmart or Target. So they're not the end all for when it comes to measurements. But here's what I wanted to try. I have just some seasonings here. If I take my teaspoon, you can see that's not gonna happen. If I take this one, I have plenty of room to get in there, scoop out some seasoning, pour it out. That's a big deal to me. That's a really big deal to me because that drives me nuts. So that being said, this definitely has a few things going for it right away. These are stainless steel. You can see it right there on the back. So here we go. Lightweight. That's how much room it's going to take up in your drawer. Nice long handle so you can get down to the bottom of the spices when you're trying to scoop them out of these things. It goes into the bottle of the spices, which is also awesome. And the measurement seems pretty close to my Walmart ones, you know, these monstrosities. So I like them. I'm going to keep using them. If I find any problems with them, I'll be sure to update my review. I cook a lot. I cook every single night, so I'll be using them like crazy. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll try my best to help you out. They'll be in my kitchen, so I'll be able to look at them and figure anything out that you might need to know. But for now, I hope that this was helpful.